What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something that I needed to just get done for a while. I've slowly accumulated too many working projects as a lot of developers do. So I'm gonna put in the last feature to one of my, my favorite projects actually. So once I do that, it'll be out of my way. We can push it and then I can start focusing on the other ones while that one kind of grows potentially, hopefully. So the app I wanna work on today is called PIN and it's a travel app. And the goal of that app is to allow you to keep track of your favorite places when you travel so that you don't forget them. And then also be able to share those recommendations. So traveling a lot, I get the question all the time, hey James, you went here, where should I go? And I can never remember. Or maybe I'm busy at work and I just don't remember right now. So I wanted one localized place for me to keep track of all of my favorites when I travel. And then that way I can also search up my friends and say, oh, I know this guy went to Paris. I'm about to go, let's see where he went. And I can just search him up easily in the app. I can share those recommendations. And I can also find where locals go when they travel, which is also something you wanna do. You wanna find like, not necessarily just the tourist spots, but the local gems, you know? So that's the key component of this app. The feature I wanna to add today is a feature where you can create a shared list with a friend. So let's say you guys are going on a trip, you can create a shared list like boys trip to Vegas or whatever. And then you can all add places that you wanna go into that list. So that's the feature I'm adding. That's pinned. Please sign up for the beta. I wanna know what you guys think. The link's below for all of my betas. Um, sign up, let me know. But yeah, with this feature out of the way, the app can be kind of pushed and then we can kind of see how it grows. So the design's already done. I'm gonna try to get the database done today and we'll see what else. This might be a multi-part video, not multi-part video. This might be like a multi-day video because I just want this video to encompass this whole feature. So cool, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what the design looks like now. Cool, so going over the design, not a huge ton of screens, but it's still a lot of functionality. One of the key components that's being added is notifications. So here you can see not just who followed you, but also what list you were added to. And then we go back to the actual core of this feature now. So it starts, this is the user's view where they can see all of their cities. And then they can click into one like Las Vegas and they'll see all of their list. And then these lists here are the ones that are shared. You can see that there's multiple users on them. And then we can now go into that list and you can see that it's shared again. And you can also see who added the pins. And then also, let's say that I add this pin, Chicken Fire, but these guys also wanna go. We're gonna have a mechanism to where the users can signify like, hey, I'm interested in this place too. That way, if we're planning a trip, we can easily look at the list and say, oh, out of this list of three places, we all wanna go here, let's just go here tonight. Then you can edit the entire list, change the picture, change the title, and update the collaborators, which takes you here to where you can invite more people or you can get rid of some people. We're gonna have like one admin, which, you know, it can be tough if that person wants to delete the list or kick everybody out, but other apps seem to operate like that too. So we'll kind of just go down that route since people are used to it. And then here's an example of the notification screen where you can see, you know, different pin lists here, and then you can join it. This guy right here, if you join the app, he's also on the team, so follow him in the app. He's our designer. He's doing a good job on it too. But yeah, so these are the core features. Tonight, what I wanna be working on is the schema, which I've already fleshed out. So I'm gonna go over that in a bit and then see what I can kind of just start building. So the schema is actually simpler than I thought. We'll start with the notification. We're gonna make this kind of easy. We're gonna have a new sub collection for notifications and that'll be a sub collection under the user. Remember, we're using Firebase for this. So it's kind of similar to MongoDB. It's no SQL kind of document, not as document based as Mongo, but it's their collections with almost JSON objects in there. So. That's what we're going to have for this. And we have notifications. We'll have notification ID. 
I like to store the ID on the document as well. Just when we're looking at the data, we can tell what it is. And then we have the notification type, which would just be like an enum, where we have like, if it's a follow notification or a shared invite, Boolean for if the user has seen it, a create date, title, description, and I'm creating this concept of notification action ID, where that's gonna be the ID for the action. Meaning, let's say you follow me in the app, right? So notification type will be follow, but the notification action ID will be uh, your user ID. So then I know based off the notification type, I need to follow this user. If the notification type is shared invite, I know based off the notification type, I need to join or not join this note, this list. So that's kind of notifications. Then we come up here to the shared pin list. In the shared pin list, also another sub collection. So this is actually the shared pin list will be a top level collection. So in there, we'll have the pin list ID and then the admin user ID. Again, I store the document ID in the document. So the pin list ID our image path, location, uh, updated date, the name of the list, how many pins are in there. We're using Unsplash for the images, so the Unsplash data. And then we'll have a sub collection of friends. These friends will store the user ID, username, full name, user photo, and then we'll have the sub collection of pins. And this will be where all the pin data is stored for this shared list. Okay, so we have one parent collection. Now, how do we link that to the user, right? So then, under each user, we're gonna have a sub collection for shared pin list. And in that sub collection, all we're gonna have is the shared pin list ID. So whenever we're on the screen where we get all their pin lists, we'll also query that shared pin list um, collection to get that data as well. So it seems like it'd be simple this way. I like the structure because it's just one, just one collection that all the users are updating. That way we can also do real-time data easier. If we wanna make that page real-time and everyone's updating it, maybe at the same time, it'll be live, which I like, versus having to like go back out and reload the page. So yeah, now I'm gonna jump into actually starting the development of this.
All right, I'm done. It's one o'clock, so I'm gonna tap out. I didn't get what I wanted to get done, even started. Um, I realized that the pin list page, which I was gonna make allow sh for shared now, didn't support didn't support the new clean architecture. So pretty much I spent the whole night refactoring that. I've got like, how many files changed? I've got like, yeah, like 57 files changed. And so, I mean, it works. All I did was really make sure that the functionality didn't break. So um, it's also real time now, which is nice. So I'm gonna hop back on this tomorrow. I wanna meet with Matt and Philip, which are my co-founders on this. Philip's design, Matt's also developing with me. And we're gonna kinda just touch base and see kinda where we're at. I'm gonna try to break up the work and just see how fast we can get this done. So, cool.